methya rasayana so rasayana is the anti aging uh, and rejuvenation uh, chapter uh, in charaka samhita chikitsa sthana that is the treatment section of charaka samhita so before uh, master charaka goes on to explain regarding treatment of various disorders so he, in the first chapter itself he explains uh, you know how to prolong aging uh, how to live healthily for a longer period of time so the preventive aspects are given uh, importance there so in that in the charaka samhita uh, chikitsa sthana first chapter there are four sections in the third section of the first chapter that is 1.3 chapter we can say the name of the chapter is kara prachitiya rasayana pada in that this shloka is beautifully mentioned so this shloka says manduka paranyaha surasah prayojya kshirena yashti madukasya churnam raso guruchyastu samula pushpyaha kalkah prayojya khalu shankha pushpyaha ayuhu pradani amaya nashanani bala agni varna swara vardhanani medhyani chaitani rasayanani medhya visheshena cha shankha pushpi so this explains regarding the medhya rasayanas which have become very famous medhya means to improve uh, brain functions memory intelligence so i request dr guraja sir to uh, decipher this shloka for us and explain the meaning sir first of all uh, we should understand before going to the topic of this particularly these why these drugs have been mentioned as medhya and all those things we need to understand what is medhya what is medha so when we try to understand this medhya or medha it has a three components one is grahana shakti the other one is dharana shakti and the third one is smarana shakti or smruti so you have these three component dhi dhriti and smruti if all the three together then only a person will have a proper type of uh, knowledge or uh, intellectual capacity or even medha whatever we call it as and when we understand try to understand and look into the uh, various aspects of uh, the explanation given in uh, ayurveda classical texts we find that medha is one of the prakrita karma of pitta medha is prabha prasado medha cha prakrita karma of pitta it is explained so similarly while explaining the prakrita karma of kapha it is it is said that dhriti is one of the prakrita karma of kapha kapha so then when the, these two things are there then of course we need to understand that all those drugs which enhance pitta and kapha are definitely going to act as medhya but that is not the truth the truth is something different acharya very clearly said medha or medhya is a prabhava janya karma so very clearly it has said medhya is a prabhava janya karma that means medhya is due to prabhava and we all know that prabhava is achintya karma it it cannot be explained as such how we could able to explain that a particular function of a drug is due to its rasa guna virya vipaka and so on such type of explanation could not be offered to those type of functions or the pharmacological actions brought about by a drug which falls under the category of prabhava so it is achintya in nature it cannot be systematically or scientifically explained why this is been doing like this we can say that this is a typically basic nature of the dravya or the drug it is the basic nature of the drug which is responsible for the medhya function so now we come to that medhya why there are uh, manduk parani and estimadu and guduchi and uh, shankapushpi these type of drugs have been explained of course here acharya very clearly explained the four drugs that is the uh, manduk parani are very popularly known as uh, vandelaga in karnataka and in and net and everywhere in the western world and uh, technically it is a centella asiatica this is a very uh, small herb and very clearly said swarasa of that drug has to be consumed 
whereas in case of next drug is st madhu where he says that st madhu should be the powder of st madhu should be mixed with milk to have a medya rasayana effect similarly the, the third drug is guduchi once again the swarasa of the guduchi has to be given its entire root and everything and in case of shanka pushpi it is should be consumed in the form of kalka that is a paste why acharyas have said this see first of all when we try to question like this we also try to understand that how the knowledge has been imported in ayurveda in the ayurvedic classical text when we go through that information we have been provided with information by three modes one is by pratyaksha pramana the other one is by aptopadesha and the third one is anumana here this particular information provided by the acharya is under the falls under the category of aptopadesha we see nowadays whenever we are in a 21st century and we are in uh, such a state of affairs that any information if it is there uh, i try to block it or i try to you no know, secure it under the intellectual property rights but our acharyas they are very lenient and very generous they are given a huge huge information without any cost they are given lot lot of information about these type of things and they are aptas we all know that who are aptas all those who are free from raja and tamas they are free from rajas and tamas such a person is an apta and these aptas they are given information for the benefit of the mankind so when such information has been provided for the benefit of the mankind without charging any fees for that so this is the beauty of their uh, information and the knowledge what they are given and whatever the knowledge they have shared they might have experienced a lot of failures before they come to a conclusion so in this statement also if acharya says shanka pushpi is the best among these things means we need to accept it otherwise until unless we have to disprove it so if acharya says it is shanka pushpi it is the best among the medya rasayanas they might have used all other options what they are available and then they pratyaksha they might have understood it and then they are giving their the result or the outcome in the form of statement that shanka pushpi is the best or the excellent for the person to increase the medya of a person so so we need to understand in this sense that medya function is due to prabhava and is achintya in nature which cannot be explained in as such that's why there are plenty of drugs has been explained as medya out of them some of the drugs are ushna in nature and some of the drugs are shita in nature some of the drugs are katutikta kashaya rasa in nature and some of the drugs are having madhura rasa in nature some of the vipaka is madhura some of the vipaka is katu so we we get all sort of a wide range of drugs which all falls under the different categories but there are two important facts we need to understand that those drugs which try to improve the pitta of a person which helps in grahana shakti and smarana shakti grasping that is learning as well as recollecting for that purpose usually all those dravyas which are little bit ushna in nature they will going to support it similarly if you want to retain the information in your brain for that purpose dharana shakti is required and that dharana shakti has been enhanced by all those which are madhura vipaka dravyas or madhura sa dravyas or shita virya dravyas so we need to understand in this concept and this category that this is uh, typically medya dravyas they are not the, just like any other uh, action we can explain how it is functioning which drug is doing in this way or that way no it is purely achintya shakti achintya virya and it is a purely purely a prabhava janya hence it is the basic nature of the drug which behaving like medyas divana shishruta has given vidanga chitrakamula apamarga and even those drugs are also as medya and we can even find like kushmanda and even suvarna these are also medya there are so plenty of vacha 
ashwagandha st madhu there are plenty of drugs which have been explained and here and there in the name of medhya so it, it, it cannot be simply just because uh, one category of drugs have been uh, considered as um, medhya and no it's not like that we have a wide range of drugs which falls under each and every category it may be madhur rasa even um, tiktara rasa katu rasa with kashaya rasa ushna virya shita virya lagu dravya snigdha dravya pichila dravya all sort of dravyas are there but it is basically we need to understand that this is a very typically basic nature of the drug that's why they are behaving as medhya rasayana and it is been observed by our acharyas by pratyaksha and now they are passed on the information as aptopadesha so we need to understand in that sense thank you for the elaboration sir and uh, in the shloka itself the mandukapani lokarais uh, guruji and shankapushpi they have been explained ayu pradani means uh, they improve the long- longevity amaya uh, nashanani cure various diseases bala agni varana swara vardhanani meaning promotes strength skin health voice so these are all uh, covering various uh, a uh, points of rasayana function so these are also rasayanas plus medhya rasayanas but uh, you know we do not see much use of say mandaka parini or, uh, or 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 shankapushpi as rasayana and also you mentioned that acharya sushruta has explained uh, vidanga also as rasayana uh, and you know ballataka has been explained as rasayana so the concept of rasayana is very wide and not only just uh, like uh, rasadatu promoting a nutrition rich sir it, it's like very wide with varieties of functions of course rasayana dravya has its uh, function in all the system of the body that's why it's like ra labo payohi shastanam rasadinam rasayanam it is the one which gives support to all sort of tissues dirghamayu smruti medam aarogyam taranam vaya prabha prasado swara indriya bala varna everything oh, you just you just count it everything all comes under the purview of rasayana so the drug which is having a totally a positive effect on the body and providing support to each and every system of the body every system or shrotas of the body and such a drug is rasayana in nature and of course it enhances positively all the aspects of the body and that's the reason it try to maintain the youthfulness in the body that is the reason that uh, rasayana the concept of rasayana has been developed that we need to maintain the youthful status of the body uh, so these uh, the brahmi shankapushpi jyotishmati celestra paniculata jata mamsi uh, uh, likrai so vacha ashwagandha so these uh, are you know considered as medhya and these are also equally used in the treatment of uh, depression anxiety phobia mania or schizophrenia so these are also used in to improve the brain functions and also to correct pathologies related to brain and mind as well see definitely these dravyas they have a special action on manas so once again it's a big topic in ayurveda what is manas where it is situated so very clearly it is said manas is present all over the body sometimes it is said mana hrudi sthitah it is present in hrudaya then comes the question where is hrudaya we have mm, different varieties of hrudaya shiro hrudaya uro hrudaya tala hrudaya so when it comes to such a type of uh, understanding that wherever there is something as acting as a center which is receiving the information processing the information and giving it back in the form of a feedback so any center behaving that type of thing is treated as hrudaya so it may be for a blood or it may be for the vatanadi so similarly here manas is connected with the vatanadi and it is connected with the mastishka that's the reason many a times um, lot of uh, confusions are created regarding this that whether manas is present only in the brain or the we should take it as only brain or it is not in the heart or something like that but according to ayurveda manas is present both in shiro hrudaya and uro hrudaya so we need to understand this part first second thing whenever we are uh, using you see these drugs definitely it improves the functions of that area it may be talo hrudaya or it may be uro hrudaya or it may be shiro hrudaya so definitely these drugs 
will going to help in those pathologies which are related to those organs not only schizophrenia or maniac or these type of things it is also even the improvement of the cerebral functions or even the grasping learning retaining the information recollecting processing and even the um, taking a decision which is right which is wrong all these process is done by brain and these functions with the support of manas very clearly said gyanendriya gives information and karmendriya has to perform a karma before that there will be always come with ubhayendriya that is manas which makes the churning and understanding what should be the response and how it should be understood all these things done by manas so when a drug is capable of influencing the manas definitely it will be influencing the vatanadis so also the vatanadi functions is basically in such a way that it is connected with the shiras and that is related with the shirohrudaya so definitely we need to understand this and accordingly we should go for it similarly when the drugs like jyotishmati uh, drugs like even uh, sarpagandha jatamamsi has been explained to be used in various uh, mental functions and diseases definitely it has its own effect on various part of the body but its special effect is always on the brain or the vatanadi functions so definitely we need to understand this part when the drug is capable of acting on a vatanadi definitely once again it is a prabhavajanya it cannot be considered as uh, just like any virajanya functions